ever wondered how a secretive institution wields immense power over the economy? Join us, the High Excess community, as we prepare to dive into the enigmatic world of the Federal Reserve, where financial decisions are made behind closed doors and their impact resonates through every aspect of our lives. In this eye-opening video, we'll unravel the mystery surrounding the Federal Reserve, revealing its hidden workings, tools, and the profound influence it holds over our financial landscape. Get ready for a captivating journey that will change the way you see the economy forever. First of all, what exactly is the Federal Reserve and how does it impact our economy? Simply put, it's the Central Bank of the United States, often referred to as the Fed. Established in 1913 through the Federal Reserve Act, the Fed serves as a vital institution within our financial system. Now, here's an interesting fact. While the Federal Reserve operates independently, it still falls under the umbrella of the federal government and is subject to congressional oversight. The Federal Reserve has a crucial role in shaping the economy and maintaining financial stability. One of its defining features is its dual mandate. This dual mandate encompasses two primary goals of the Federal Reserve. The first goal is to promote high employment and foster economic growth. The Fed aims to create conditions that lead to maximum sustainable employment in the economy. It utilizes various tools and policies to influence interest rates, money supply, and credit availability, all with the intention of stimulating economic growth and job creation. The second goal of the Federal Reserve's dual mandate is maintaining price stability. This means keeping inflation in check. The Fed strives to achieve moderate inflation levels that neither spiral out of control nor lead to damaging deflation. By carefully managing interest rates and implementing appropriate measures, the Fed aims to maintain stable prices in the economy. Achieving these dual goals requires the Federal Reserve to carefully analyze economic data, make informed decisions, and implement monetary policies. Through these efforts, the Fed seeks to strike a delicate balance between promoting employment and controlling inflation. Objectives Other Than the Dual Mandate in addition to its dual mandate of promoting maximum employment and maintaining price stability, the Federal Reserve has several other objectives that contribute to its overall mission. These objectives include fostering economic growth, promoting the stability of the financial system, ensuring the smooth functioning of financial markets, protecting consumers in financial transactions, and overseeing the payment system. The Federal Reserve aims to create conditions that support long-term economic growth, improve living standards, and facilitate a stable and sustainable environment for businesses and individuals. It supervises and regulates banks and financial institutions to ensure their safety and soundness while also monitoring potential risks to prevent financial crisis. To promote the efficient functioning of financial markets, the Fed provides liquidity to financial institutions during times of stress, conducts open market operations to manage interest rates, and works to maintain market stability. It also enforces consumer protection laws and regulations to ensure fairness, transparency, and equal access to credit and financial services. Furthermore, the Federal Reserve oversees the nation's payment systems to ensure their safety, efficiency, and accessibility. It plays a crucial role in promoting the integrity of payment systems, facilitating secure and efficient payment transactions, and fostering innovation in payment technologies. These objectives collectively reflect the Federal Reserve's broader responsibilities in maintaining the stability, resilience, and well-being of the U.S. economy. By pursuing these goals, the Fed aims to create an environment that supports sustainable economic growth, employment opportunities, price stability, and a robust financial system. Federal Reserve's Tools In pursuit of these goals, the Federal Reserve has a range of tools at its disposal including setting interest rates, conducting open market operations, and regulating and supervising banks. So in this section, we're diving into the details of the Federal Reserve's Toolkit. One of the Federal Reserve's most powerful tools is the control of interest rates. They can turn the dial up or down on the cost of borrowing money, and that has a massive impact on all of us. When the economy needs a boost, the Fed may lower interest rates. Picture this, you want to buy a car or a house, and you need a loan. Lower interest rates make those loans more affordable. It's like getting a green light on your financial dreams. Plus, businesses can borrow money at lower rates, helping them expand, invest, and create jobs. But wait, what happens when inflation starts to creep up? That's when the Fed might pump the brakes by raising interest rates. It's like hitting the pause button on borrowing. With higher interest rates, taking out loans becomes more expensive, cooling down spending, and taming inflationary pressures. 
So how does this affect you and me? Well, when the Fed lowers interest rates, it can put more money in our pockets. We can refinance our mortgages at lower rates, giving us extra cash each month. And hey, who doesn't love a little extra dough for that vacation or a fancy dinner? On the flip side, when the Fed raises interest rates, it can put a damper on our spending. Loans for big ticket items like cars or homes become pricier, making us think twice before taking the plunge. But here's the kicker, the Fed's interest rate decisions don't just impact us directly. They have a ripple effect throughout the economy. When interest rates go down, it's like injecting a shot of adrenaline into economic growth. But when rates go up, it can slow down the engine of expansion. Lower interest rates can stimulate businesses to invest, hire more workers, and expand their operations. It can encourage consumers to borrow and spend, boosting demand for goods and services. That's music to the ears of the economy. On the other hand, higher interest rates can act as a break on economic growth. When borrowing costs rise, businesses may hold back on investments and consumers may tighten their purse strings. It's like taking your foot off the gas pedal to avoid zooming too fast. So you see, the Federal Reserve's control of interest rates is a mighty tool that shapes the flow of money, affects borrowing costs, and ultimately influences the rhythm of the economy. Next up, let's talk about another tool, their open market operations. Picture this. The Federal Reserve, armed with its incredible authority, enters the open market like a financial superhero. With a flick of its wrist, it starts buying and selling government securities like there's no tomorrow. But why, you ask? Well, my friend, it's all about controlling the money supply and interest rates. When the economy needs a boost, the Federal Reserve swoops in buying up those government securities from banks and other institutions. This floods the banking system with fresh cash, encouraging lending and economic activity. But when things get a little too heated, the Fed goes into action again, selling those securities and sucking up the excess money. Talk about financial firepower. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the Federal Reserve's role in regulating and supervising banks. Imagine a team of financial detectives led by the Federal Reserve on a mission to ensure the stability and safety of the banking system. They conduct meticulous bank examinations, peering into every nook and cranny of those financial institutions. Nothing escapes their eagle-eyed scrutiny. But that's not all, folks. The Federal Reserve also sets reserve requirements like a master puppeteer. These requirements determine how much money banks must hold in reserve against their deposits. By adjusting these requirements, the Fed can control the amount of money banks can lend, shaping the money supply and keeping inflation in check. And let's not forget the mighty regulations imposed by the Federal Reserve. It lays down the law, my friends, making sure banks follow the rules. Capital requirements, consumer protection, anti-money laundering measures, they've got it all covered. It's like a financial rulebook on steroids. But wait, there's more. The Federal Reserve takes charge of supervising those behemoth financial institutions, the so-called Systematically Important Financial Institutions, or SIFIs. They keep a watchful eye on these giants, stress-testing their resilience and monitoring their risks. It's a high-stakes game of financial chess, my friends, where the Fed aims to protect the entire system from collapsing. So there you have it, folks. The Federal Reserve's arsenal is comprised of formidable tools. With these weapons, they can effectively control the money supply, stimulate economic growth, and ensure the stability of our financial system. It's an impressive display of their power and influence. Who's behind the Federal Reserve? Next up, it's time to meet the brains behind the Federal Reserve's decision-making process. Get ready to meet the Federal Open Market Committee, also known as the FOMC. The FOMC is the powerhouse within the Federal Reserve that calls the shots when it comes to crucial policy decisions. They're the ones who determine interest rates and other key monetary policies that shape the economy. So who exactly sits at this decision-making table? Let's meet the cast of characters. First up, we have the Fed Chairman. This person is like the captain of the ship, steering the Federal Reserve's course. They're appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. Currently, Jerome Powell holds the reins as the Fed Chairman. Next, we have the Fed Board of Governors, a group of seven individuals appointed by the President and also confirmed by the Senate. They bring their expertise and diverse perspectives to the table, contributing to the decision-making process. But wait, there's more! We can't forget about the regional Federal Reserve Bank presidents. These are the heads of the 12 regional Federal Reserve Banks across the country. They rotate as voting members of the FOMC with some having a vote every year and others every other year. 
The regional presidents bring regional economic insights and ensure that different parts of the country are represented in the decision-making process. When the FOMC meets, they assess economic data, analyze financial conditions, and debate the best course of action. Their primary focus? You guessed it, interest rates. They carefully consider whether to raise, lower, or maintain rates based on their assessment of the economy's health and their goals of promoting employment and controlling inflation. But interest rates aren't the only thing on their agenda. The FOMC also discusses other monetary policies such as the purchase or sale of government securities. These decisions can impact the money supply and further influence borrowing costs and economic activity. So you see, the FOMC is like the brain of the Federal Reserve, making critical policy decisions that shape the financial landscape. They take into account a wide range of factors and work to steer the economy on a sustainable path. Federal Reserve's Independence Now before we end this video, we are going to unveil an important aspect of the Federal Reserve, its independence from political pressure. Buckle up because we're diving into some fascinating territory. One of the unique features of the Federal Reserve is its independence from direct political influence. This means that it operates without being subject to day-to-day -day political pressures. So how does the Fed maintain this independence? Let's start with the Board of Governors. The members of the board, including the Fed Chairman, are appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. But here's the catch. They serve fixed terms. Each member serves a 14-year term to ensure that their decisions are driven by the long-term health of the economy rather than short-term political interests. This arrangement helps safeguard the board's independence and shields it from undue political influence. Now, here's an interesting tidbit. The Federal Reserve doesn't rely on congressional funding for its operations. Unlike many other government agencies, the Fed funds itself through its own revenue streams. It generates income from various sources such as interest on government securities it holds and fees from financial institutions it supervises. This financial independence further strengthens the Fed's ability to act independently and make decisions based on economic considerations rather than political pressure. But what about the power of the president? While the president appoints the members of the Board of Governors, including the Fed Chairman, they can only remove a member for just cause. This power is rarely used and serves as an additional layer of protection to ensure the Fed's independence. This independence from political interference allows the Federal Reserve to make decisions that are best suited for all the overall health and stability of the economy. It gives the Fed the freedom to take necessary actions such as adjusting interest rates or implementing monetary policies without being swayed by short-term political agendas. So there you have it, the Federal Reserve's independence from political pressure, its fixed terms for the Board of Governors, financial autonomy, and the limited power of the President to remove members ensure that the Fed can operate with a focus on economic stability and long-term goals. And that's a wrap, folks. We've unraveled the inner workings of the Federal Reserve, explored its tools and impact, and gained a deeper understanding of our financial landscape. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing to our channel, High Excess, you'll stay updated with our future explorations or fascinating topics just like this one. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. We appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, stay curious, and keep reaching for new heights.